Hello everyone. Today video session is for class 7th students. Chapter number 1 Computer Hardware and Software. In this chapter the very first topic which we are having is introduction. So first the definition of the computer. Computer is a very fast and accurate electronic device which receive data and instructions, process data according to the instructions and give meaningful result. In this definition there are few technical terms. Now for example electronic. So when the question is asked to the student why the computer is called the electronic device so some of them say because it runs with the help of electricity. No that is not the right answer. Computer does not call the electronic device because it runs with the electricity like we are having at home fan, tube lights. These are not the electronic devices. Elect these are electrical devices or electrical appliances. So electronic, electronic device computer is known as electronic device because it is made up of electronic components. That is the right answer. I am repeating. Computer is known as electronic device because it is made up of electronic components. There are many electronic components. Here I am showing, showing you some of these. Like resistors. These are electronic component. Then in resistors it's available in uh, different here you can see that it, there are different colors of the lines on it they are having some specific meaning now and we are having transistors these are available in different sizes and shapes then these are capacitors then we are having integrated circuits in short we call it IC then all these components are assembled inside the CPU box on the motherboard Therefore, computer is known as electronic device. Now, the second word is that computer is a uh, very fast. Yes, we know it that this can perform millions of the instruction in seconds. Therefore, we call it. We say that the computer is very fast machine. Now, there is a term coming in this definition is accurate. Is a computer accurate machine? Yes, it is. Because if you are giving the right command and right instructions and right data to the computer, we will always get the correct result. But in case if we have given wrong data and instructions to the computer in that way, in that case computer will give us wrong result or wrong output. Because computer works on the principle of GIGO. GIGO stands for GIGO means G I G O GIGO garbage in garbage out means if we are giving wrong command and wrong instructions to the computer we will get wrong result otherwise it is 100% accurate machine the next is uh, that is which receives data and instructions computer is a machine it cannot do any work its own we have to tell the computer what to do and how to do so we feed two things to the computer means that is the data and instructions take a simple example when we have to add two numbers then we have to enter two numbers and along with it we have to give the plus sign also okay i am just explaining this with the help of a simple example now for example we are having calculator okay in this calculator i want to add two numbers like first number is two then I have pressed the plus sign. So plus sign is the instruction. Then I have given the another number that is 5. So this is another data. So here 5 and 2 are data and plus sign which I have pressed is the instruction. When I click on equal sign then the result will be display that is 7. So here in this case 2 and 5 is data and, and plus sign is the instruction. So whatever the things we are doing whatever the things we do in the computer we have to tell the computer then what we want to do and what is the data which we are feeding to it take this one more example for example here it is instruction is written here i want to apply some formatting like i want to change its color so first i have written this word instruction then i have to go to the color button then it will show different types of the color and then i have to select a color so means here I have given instruction to the computer to change the text color of this word introduction to red. 
the next is that it process data according to the instructions and give meaningful result the output which we get in the last after processing it then that is known as result and computer always process the data according to the instruction means if i have given the plus sign so number will be added up if i have given multiplication sign so number will be multiply here as i have clicked selected the red color so the color is changes to red according to the instructions computer will follow now the next topic which we are having is hardware now that there are two parts in computer that is software and hardware so first hardware hardware comprises of physical unit of the computer that can be seen and touch in simple way i am explaining now the parts of the computer which we can touch and see are known as hardwares like it is there are four categories of it for there are four types that is input devices output devices processing devices and storage devices now the next topic is uh, input devices input devices are those devices with the help of which we feed data and instructions to the computer now first one is keyboard keyboard and mouse these are the common input devices and these topics students are learning from the very lower classes so these topics are not explained in the book i'm just giving a brief idea about it when we have to enter some text or the numbers for that purpose we use this keyboard keyboard there are different types of the keys on the keyboard there are five type of the keys on the keyboard like we are having alphabetic keys numeric keys then we are having arrow keys function keys and special keys the next one is uh, mouse mouse is input device it is also known as a pointing device it is used for working in the computer and then if you want to open any file or you want to perform any operation for that purpose we use mouse now let's start with the next topic and that is a scanner so a scanner is used to scan photos poster text magazines and feed them directly into the computer so a scanner is used for this purpose you can easily understand like this that in the market you have seen that we have photocopy uh, machines okay electrostatic machines it follow the same procedure for the scanning but only the difference is that in photocopy we get the output on the paper and here whatever we are scanning it reaches inside the computer take this example for example you are writing an essay on any topic like taj mahal and uh, you have completed it and now you want a photograph but in your computer system you don't have any photograph of the taj mahal but you are having a photograph of taj mahal uh, in a book so with the help of that book you can scan that picture of the taj mahal and then that image of the taj mahal will reaches to the computer and then you can use that picture in your assignment scanners are of two types that is flat bed scanner as you are seeing on the screen right now and second one is the hand held scanner this scanner is also known as the barcode reader this scanner might be have seen in the shopping malls which is used to scan the barcodes so whatever the information is feed it with the help of that barcode is displayed in the computer screen after this the next input device is micr micr stands for magnetic ink character reader or it is in some books it is as a magnetic ink character recognition so both are correct this device is used to read special characters which are printed on the check by using a special type of the ink which contain magnetic particles in it it can process thousands of the checks now the characters are printed on the check here you can see the diagram at this place micr code is printed and this device that is micr is used for reading the information from the check that what all the information which is printed over here that what is the date of the check how much amount is given what is the check number and all that information is read and feed it into the computer the next device is digital camera it is available in the market in different shape and sizes these are used for capturing videos and pictures these devices uses a special type of the card that is known as memory card 
in market different types of the memory cards are available so digital cameras are used to capture pictures and the videos for storing the information in the digital camera memory cards are used so here are some of the memory cards are here as you can see the capacity that 2 gb 32 gb 16 gb and uh, these are used for storing the information in the digital camera afterwards that information which is stored in the digital uh, memory cards can be transferred to the computer now the next topic is uh, drawing tablets it is an input device which has board and a special pen to write over it and is connected to a computer as you can see it over here that is connected to the computer a board is provided a special pen is there with the help of this pen that directly it can be drawn on the tablet or can be drawn on the drawing tablet and then it, it is represented in the computer system the next is the touch screen as the name is touch screen here there is no need to feed uh, with the help of the keyboard or you don't have to use a mouse at all directly the instructions may be given directly by touching on the screen in simple way you can easily understand like that as we, these days we use the mobile phones touch screen mobile phones and the ATM machine where we feed the information directly touching on the screen the next input device which we are having uh, is a webcam and it is also known as web camera these are available in different shape and the sizes these are used for the video conferencing especially yes but in the desktop system please remember in the computer system in the desktop we use this in laptop it is inbuilt okay it is already presented in the laptop so you don't have to attach web camera when you want to video conference with someone for that purpose in the desktop we use this web cam okay students and uh, that's all for today thank you be stay at home and be safe